Okay, today is a massive date and we are gonna go through a lot today. You are going to spend the next little while with me as I plan through my goals and values for 2023. And hopefully by doing that with me, you're able to work out what yours are for 2023 as well. I'm super into goal setting and you'll see as I go through some of the uh, steps today. And I've got some uh, examples of previous goal setting I've done and kind of what we're going to do. So to make it super simple, I'm going to pause you right here and I'm going to get you to go download the free 53 page um level 10 life values and reflection templates planner um lots of stuff to do in here lots of homework and we're going to touch on some of it not all of it but we're going to touch on at least like oh, a majority of it and then i'm going to do it specifically in my bullet journal so that way you can see how i maintain wow there is so this should be the bloopers reel there is so much recording i mean construction outside right now it's driving me crazy there is a lot of construction in my house at the moment so my apologies for all the background noise um but yes we're going to get started today and we're going to get cracking straight into this so the first thing i thought would be good to do was to kind of give you a little flip through of my last four or five years i actually think it's even longer i think it's close to seven years of doing um, goal setting and values and identifying what values really resonate with me for the year and how i'm going to achieve those i've also been doing level 10 life for a number of years in the next video not this one Next one, I'm going to round up a whole bunch of awesome level 10 life spreads that you can check out. And once I have, I'll link it in the comments below anyway, so that way you've got access to both videos. So let's get started with the flip through. All right, the very first time I started goal setting was in 20, well, it's probably not the first time I was goal setting, but in 2016, I was using my Kiki K planner and I was using it to really map out what sort of smart goals and objectives I wanted to have. And it was around getting healthy and getting rid of any credit card debt I had and et cetera, et cetera. And you'll see that it kind of um, spoke about what I wanted to achieve. Um, and I broke the goals down into smaller bite-sized chunks. So I've always created goal setting plans. As you can see, I had these templates that I created um, back in the day. And I've kind of based the current ones off something similar. Now, as I head into July 2017, I was kind of using a sketchbook and I kind of created my values, um, defined them, did my level 10 life and then set goals. So say, for example, I had a five out of 10 for something, I would then set myself five goals to be able to achieve whatever it was in my level 10 life. Um, so yes, 2017 was quite a busy year and then I broke them down again using my Kiki K planner as per 2016. Um, really keeping in mind that, you know, it was still kind of new and I wasn't really bullet journaling at that point yet. Okay, straight into 2018, and this time I kept it really simple. I used my level 10 life, I had a quote, I divided it up and used the sections as well as a reflection and a goal. Um, this gave me a really clear indication of what I wanted to do for 2019, which was a little bit more fun and a little bit more engaging. I made little jars with fireflies in it, and then each firefly represented a level of the life. So I then put the goals in next to the little firefly jars. I really love this layout. So for 2020, I did the same thing, just uh, in a new updated version. Um, now to find it in, this is kind of my major collections book. So it has all of my collections over many years. So just to find it was a bit of a hot mess. There we go. Word of the year was Aroha and then my little fireflies and then the goals that I had for each one of my fireflies and the sections of my level 10 life. Now for 2020, I also used the Amy Tangerine um, planner, which I really loved. And I love that it gave you some really clear reflection elements. And because I keep a memory planner, I like to use it um, as a reflection and end of year review that I can use again um, in the following year, which is exactly what I did for 2021. 
and 2022. So for 2022, which was this year, what I did was I created these cute little jumpers that I really loved. And then I replicated the goals and process like goals and setup from the original uh, Amy Tangerine planner in 2020 which I thought was really fun um, and then midway through the year I went in and redid or like just did a little recheck in to make sure that my goals were still kind of sticking I was sticking to my goals and had I shifted any of my level 10 life scores making it a really great way to reflect on the last six months okay now that we've done the flip through we are going to get cracking straight in to the planner and if you haven't already download it below it's fantastic it's literally bajillions of pages and we're going to I'm going to run you through kind of what's in there and I've kind of color coded the sections as well now I've printed it in black and white because um, cheap like that um, so it works in color and in black and white so don't stress too much about how you print it out and you can also print it in a5 as well so it can fit in your bullet journal so the first part we've got a little note to self and we then head straight into kind of a planning cheat sheet your year in review and then we're going to go straight into your level 10 life and setting some goals for your level 10 life now when I go through those, I'll explain a little bit of something that I do differently sometimes with my level 10 life, just depending on what score I got. Um, but I will explain that to you when we get there. So I'm going to flip the old camera room around and start sharing with you um, my process of how to set some goals for 2023. First thing you're going to see when you open up your goal planner is that it is color coordinated and that there are tons of pages for you to fill in and we're going to kind of convert the pages here into my journal a little bit later but first we're going to kind of summarize what it is that we want to do over the next um, year and we'll have a little bit of a reflection on the previous year as well and make sure that everything is kind of fitting together nicely now there is a lot to fill in here so I'm going to put on some nice relaxing music for everybody and I am going to get started and feel free to do it with me as we go um, or you can just put on the music and pause where you need it to be paused.
Okay, we are now finally at the level 10 life part of our section and it's really important to be honest with yourself because this is the only person that's reading this is you. You've got to be honest with where you are sitting and this precursor to the level 10 life kind of asks a couple of questions around how you're feeling, what's been going on, where you're currently at and it gives you some good insight into what uh, topics you want to use in your level 10 life. I've got some generic ones in there for you or if if you want to go ahead and you know really rejig what it is that um, the topics are so let's get started here and then we're going to move straight on into the kind of level 10 life spider web now reached the level 10 life spider web and the idea is is you're going to use a colored pencil or a colored pen and you're going to decide what score out of 10 you get for that particular topic of your level 10 life so if we use family and friends in this particular instance as an example you'll see that i'm only kind of giving myself a five out of ten i can absolutely be a better friend and i could probably be better to my family as well um, recreation wise i'm only giving myself a two because i haven't done a lot this year actually i think that's a one um i haven't done a lot this year and i could do absolutely better so go around the entire um, circle if there's ones that are irrelevant to you cross them out and then see what sort of balance you have within the circle. All right, now that I'm done, I'm going to go onto the next page and I'm kind of gonna start looking at which ones are doing really well and which ones are not doing very well. And I'm gonna go through those and start writing out what I think is important for me to focus on for this upcoming uh, year. You'll see that I've got quite a number of uh, kind of things to go through um, and I think you know, just feeling blah about stuff is really important to capture as well. So I'm going to give you some time to go through that part. Make sure that you write it in detail because, again, you're the only person that is going to be reading this. And it's your life that you're changing. No one else's. So good luck. Right, now we're going to dig a little bit deeper and I want you to consider each area of the wheel that you've spoken about and I want you to write down what it is that you need to change in that particular area to make sure that you are scoring a 10 out of 10. Take time, go through every single one and be as detailed and deep as possible. This is where we're going to set some high level goals. We're not going to deep dive into the goals yet. So we're going to look at the areas and we're going to write down some things that we would like to, at a high level, achieve over the next year to really make that level 10 life a 10 out of 10. And again, this is high level. We're not diving into how you're going to get to those goals or how you're going to reach those goals. We will get to that later. This is just kind of brainstorming what you could do to get that 10 out of 10. Now, before I go on to the next section, I actually like doing the values first before I deep dive into the goals for the year. So I'm going to move straight on to creating my dream life, which really focuses in on what I want to be achieving by next year this time. And it really ties it into the values that I have. And I, you'll see my, my justification behind why I do this in a second. Um, but we're going to go through and do the dream life right now. So take a pause, take a moment and fill in the sections as well. My favorite sections that we're reaching now and it's really easy to do. You're going to quickly go through and select kind of the top 10 values that you think really align to you and you as a person. What are those values looking like? Who are you? Which ones resonate for you? And kind of where are you going to go to next from this point using those values? So circle really quickly your top 10 values and you'll see what we're going to do in the next part. Great, we now have our 10 values. I want you to group those values together. I want you to group them together as in stability or wealth. Those are two things that could go together. Achievement, career, those are some kind of things that can go together. And I want you to start thinking of words that really describe kind of the group of uh, words that you've selected. Um, so for example, does career mean it's you're achieving or is achievement meaning that you're doing really well in your career because you're going to have to whittle this down into a top three so you can either combine them and choose a new word or you can use a word that you already have in there and define out what your top three core values are 
Mine end up being, um, and you will see in the next wee little moment, is mine end up being stability, travel, and creativity. All three of which are really important to me. I want to feel stable and secure. I want to have the opportunities to be able to travel more and see more things and especially expose my son to really cool environments. And creativity is the most important thing to me. I love being creative and I find that it helps me uh, stay grounded and it also helps me feel um, connected to kind of everything around me and makes me feel really present. So it's super important for me to have that as a core value these three core values it's super important to incorporate them into all of the goals that you set and that's why I wanted to do this exercise first before I went back to my goal setting because I wanted to make sure that all of my goal settings ended up coming back towards stability travel and creativity and making sure that they all align really closely to make sure that my 2023 is a year that feeds my values and also feeds the goals that I'm hoping to set to get to my level 10 life so that way I've got those core values interwoven into every single one of those goals now it's pretty straightforward from here wow can't even speak pretty straightforward from here on out you just need to answer the questions in the dream life and really kind of deep dive into your thoughts and feelings around how you're going to achieve those goals i am so excited to show you the kind of generator that i've created um it's super cool you just have to kind of put in the number and it auto generates a theme for the month because i know a lot of people struggle with the theme and that can be really overwhelming so i've put together a really cool auto generator that you can download in the link below so i can't wait to see what you create next month all right, I wanted to sum, take and summarize everything that I had written down in the uh, goal setting planner and I wanted to put it into my bullet journal so that I could look at it regularly and make sure that I was incorporating it into my everyday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some relaxing music yet again and you can follow along with me as to see how I summarize it down to fit into my bullet journal and what I'm going to do for my goal setting to make 2023 a really productive year ahead.
Okay, we have a quick check in here. I'm using my January to really set some clear goals for what I'm actually going to do in January to achieve the level 10 life goals that I've set. And I've also themed every month of the year to match my level 10 life topics. So that way I've got a focus for the month and making sure that everything is achieved throughout 2023. What makes this really great is I'm also doing my kind of perfect week and what that would look like and that way when I'm planning out my week I can check in with what my perfect week would look like and try and align them as closely as possible together. Okay, you have traveled with me on an entire journey of a kajillion goal setting ideas. And I am really looking forward to 2023. I think it's gonna be a really good year after a really weird two years of COVID and all this drama. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you set as goals as well. And I'm hoping that you have an amazing 2023 as well. Now, I would, absolutely love if you could hit the subscribe and follow button below and hit a like as well feel free to ask any questions that you may have around the printable um, or if you need any help and support kind of filling out your own goals I'm happy to help if you need and you know with the comments below it also helps me kind of work out what the next thing is that you're looking for for me to film so would be great if you could do that Along with that, feel free again to download the free printable. The link is in the comments or the description below. And feel free to join me over on Instagram. It's where I spend most of my time and it's where I share most of my inspiration and behind the scenes stuff. So it would be great if you could join me over there. But also here on YouTube and I'm also over on Pinterest. So I look forward to seeing you in the future and have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are in the world.